find the sum of the digits in the answer to Oh, we just go, we just say 94 nines. Since oh, we just keep on writing nines until we get to the 94th nine. That's basically what we're trying to do. And we just copy the same number, only all those 94 digits are four. We just have four, 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 four. All, we just keep writing fours until we get to the 94, four, 94, four. And you'll see I've written in big numbers. This is an AMC8 problem. Big numbers, you know what, the wrote that scare you out. You know, right? you know what, in this problem, we can write infinitely nines, infinite fours, and still get the same answer. <laughs> so, okay, kind of the same answer. Now, you see, this string of nines, or basically this desert of nines, well, nine is always one less than 10. Nine, nine is one less than 100, nine, nine. Oh, that means any string of nines is always one less than the power of 10. And powers of 10, that's good, because no well, power of 10, most of us something other, something else, we're just dropping on zeros, or if you're multiplying by a decimal, we're just sliding a decimal point around here. No decimals, really, we just put a point zero, but Never mind about that. Forget about that. So we like powers of 10 and multiplying, multiplying in powers of 10. So we're going to express these 99 fours as 10 to the 94. That's one followed by 94, 94 zeros so minus one. That's the same as that. Write that down. 94 zeros. And we subtract one. And we have to multiply this 90, these 94 fours in. Four, four, I, nine, I, 94 fours. So now we use the distributive property. We can have, we take this 10 to the 94 times these, times this 94 fours. And that means we have 94 fours. Followed by 94 zeros. Okay, I'm taking a little while to write this down. 94 zeros. Now, of course, you have to subtract off one times these, this 84 four, 94 fours. Now, we could write down all 282 digits. That means that's 394, that's a quick confusion. And then, do all the arithmetic, subtract and borrow, 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 borrow. And then eventually we'll get the answer and then we can add up all those digits. But we came here to do a little bit of work. We didn't come here to do a lot of work. So we're gonna like, uh, if you would mind me, okay, there you go. Yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use stacking subtraction, but we're not gonna like write down all of our digits since we see you got a whole bunch of repeating digits here, right? And then we're subtracting off a bunch more repeating digits. That means we're definitely gonna have a whole bunch of repeating digits. So maybe you don't have to write down all, all of those digits in the end. So first, we write down this 188 digit number. That's that right there. Whole bunch of fours followed by whole bunch of zeros. And then we have to subtract off 84 4s. Subtract off all these 4s. Now I'm lighting up the 4s with the zeros because, well, we've got 94 4s, 94 zeros. They're all starting from the same point. That means they're all going to be lined up nice and neat. Now, we know how to do stacking subtraction, right? We just start from our right, start, I mean, uh, this is our right, right, since, but that's my left. So we start from the right, and then we work to our left. 
So we start with zero minus four, and of course we can't take, since take, take away that, because then we get negative four, we can't have negative digits. And of course we know we have to borrow, so, but the digit right before this zero is another zero, we can't borrow from there, and the digit before the zero, after the zero, uh, I'm not sure how to say that, we're just gonna have a whole, an ocean of zeros, a whole bunch of square, I mean, a whole bunch of zeros, that means, we're going to keep on borrowing until we get this zero. Now, the zero isn't magical. It's not like this zero includes one. But what this zero is special is it does have, it does mark the end of this desert of zeros. Now we see for this four, we can borrow the four, right? Since we just subtract one from four, and, we, and then we can get three. And of course, didn't bother to do that. But of course, all these digits out here are zero. We just have three minus zero, that's three. And same with all the other fours. All the numbers before this three, those are 90 free numbers, because since there's 90, and then while well, we're just subtracting off 94 zeros, that's not gonna change anything. It means we just have a whole bunch of fours. 90, 3, fours, and what, and what is 93 is, well, there's 94 fours, and well, if one of those fours change into a three, we still have 93 good fours, I guess. And now, well, see, we're going to keep on, this is going to change into an, and then 10, 10, 10, eventually this will change into a 10. Don't go back in a 10, 10 minus 4, we have 6, our units digit. Now you just have to find what goes in that blank. Now, well, 4, when we borrow the 4, we're going to get a 10 right there. Okay, I'm doing this basically now. We still have to borrow for the zero after that zero. That means, well, we're gonna borrow one that's gonna change into a nine, and then we're gonna have nine, 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 nine. And well, there's 94 zeros, and then, I mean, <laughs> I mean, we're gonna eventually get 93. 93 nines, and then while we take each one of those nines, subtract off four, we're gonna get 93 fives. So, what fits in here is 93, 5. Now, just have to add up all these digits. Now, it's a little less work, but still a little bit of computing. Okay, put a bar. Now, we can do our work. So, let's see. First, what this is, we have 93. I think we're starting to see these numbers are pretty conveniently chosen. 93 times 4, that's the sum of all these digits. Plus 3, I'm going to, this that lonely 3, and I'm going to put this lonely 6 with the 3 because that together makes us a 9. This is good. And we still have 93 times 5. 93 times but now you see first, three plus six is nine. Well, we, well, 93 times four, 93 times five, we can factor that. We just have 93 times four plus five, that's nine. And now we see if we write down a times one right there, that's why I saved a little bit of space there. If we write down a times one, we can factor again factor again, and then we just have 93, I mean, nine times one plus 93. Nine times 94, as you might recall. And again, nine is a group of nine. That means it's one less than 10, which is power of 10, we like that. That's basically what we did here, only a lot, lot simpler. So, that, 10 minus one, this is just really straightforward now, times 94. Now, distribute a property again, just like we did up there. 10 times 94 is 940. We have to subtract off one times 94. And well, subtracting 94 is the same as minus 100 and on six, nine, 40 minus 100 plus 6. I think you can do that. 5, 4, 3, 2, 
one. Got it? Good. Nine, nine, 40 minus 100 is 840. Add on 6, you get 846.